Hey, what's going on guys? The video you're about to watch was actually a part of a Twitter series I was making called Just The Tip. Well, now I'm bringing that series over to YouTube and I thought I would start with this video. An oldie, but a goodie. All right, that's it. Now time for Just The Tip. So since I started making these videos, one of the biggest complaints that you guys are coming to me with is that your audio is either too loud or too quiet and you can't seem to find the balance for your stream. Well, the answer you're looking for is compression. Basically, compression reduces the dynamic range of your audio by bringing down the loudest parts. This means the loudest and quietest parts of your audio will be closer together, creating more consistent volume throughout your stream. You guys already know how I feel about adding a gate to your stream, but this is just as important. Whether you're a quiet, chill streamer or loud and over the top, adding a compressor to your audio will make sure the volume of your stream is always in your control. So before we go any further, I do want to let you know that you can find me live three days a week over on Twitch, but more specifically on Sundays at 5 p.m. Central, we spend a few hours talking about tech and answering any questions that you might have. So if you find this helpful, consider giving me a follow over there so we can keep the conversation going. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to assume you already know how to add a filter or plug into your mic. If not, let me know. I'll be happy to help. So I'm using the Reaper plugin, which you can get from their website for free, or you can use the one built in OBS. It will look different, but it'll pretty much work the same. So like the gate, we're only concerned with a few things here. Threshold, attack, release, and ratio. Threshold is the level that the compressor turns on. Attack is how fast it turns on, and release is how fast it turns off. I have my threshold set near the top of my speaking voice at negative 40 dB. This number will definitely be different for you, so you'll just have to experiment to find the right threshold. Moving on to attack and release. You don't want to attack too fast or release too slow, otherwise it'll sound unnatural. My settings here are just fine at 3 milliseconds attack and 100 milliseconds for release. You can alter them a little bit, but I wouldn't stray too far from that. The last thing is ratio. I have mine set to 2 to 1, which means for every decibel my audio goes over the threshold, it is reduced or compressed by 2 decibels. 2 to 1 is great for a natural sounding speaking voice. If you tend to get louder though, you may want to bring that up to 3 to 1 or 4 to 1, but too much compression can be a bad thing. So there's no way I could explain everything about a compressor in a two minute Twitter video. But if you're having problems with your volume, this is definitely something you should try. If you have any other questions, feel free to send me a message or come hang out and stream and I'll do everything I can to help you. And as always, my name is Seven Miles and this has been Just The Tip.